Alright guys, it is a lovely soon to be 90 something degree day here in March here in the end times on this undisclosed swamp uh, <coughs> swim at your own risk do not feed the wildlife alligators and snakes may be present yes airboat regulations no one shall operate an airboat between the hours of 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. uh-huh we, you just missed the launch of the latest airboat. Maybe we'll get another airboat launch during this uh, during this rant here. It is Friday, March 26, 2021. So uh, I just finished my ecological meltdown roundup rant over there on Collapse Chronicles. If you want to go over there and listen to hear what's on the minds of Rhett Butler and the folks at Manga Bay to depress yourself. But as long as I'm here at Collapse Chronicles, this is actually a long comment uh, from a tribes member on on both channels. This was, I did a, if I don't know if you heard it or not, I, I did this rant on Collapse Chronicles yesterday about doomer fatigue. You know, and just, I don't know about you guys, it, it, my, you know, it's just starting to like, what is the fucking point? Uh, so anyway, uh, my buddy WRW sent this comment in response to that. And so, guys, before I start this, you know, when when you're getting ready to say something that know you're that you know you're gonna regret. Uh, so, for one thing, you know, there, I I have so many of you guys, and and you're using all of these different names. I'm not 100 percent that WRW is the man I think he is. I'm. I'm about 95% that I, that the, the man I have uh, uh, in mind here is the man who wrote this comment, and since he made it a public comment asking me these questions, oh here comes an airboat, asking me these questions, then I... Uh, I'm going to make the mistake of answering them publicly. Alright. I guess they forgot. Did they forget something or they just went the wrong way? They just started out of here. These guys just started out of here two minutes ago. I guess they wanted to go the other direction. Good God. Here comes another weekend in paradise. Uh, so anyway, I'm not going to give... I, 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 I don't want to give away any private information about, about this fellow. So I need, I need to choose my words carefully. Anyway, take it away. WRW, who I think is the man I, I think he is. Anyway. This top, this is from Collapse Chronicles, this topic, meaning doomer fatigue, is the reason why I like another channel on YouTube <clears throat> more than this one. I get it. We are so doomed. I don't need more news on how or why. I need to learn how to get out there and enjoy it while I still can. I would love more content on the practical side of things. How do you organize your life? How do you make it work out financially? What are the tricks? How do I get rid of my 9 to 5 job? Help me! I get that you are lonely, but when I see you lying in a hammock with your sleepy dog in Key West, while I am getting ready for work at 6 a.m. like I do every day and it's cold and snowy outside, I feel sad. I spend the rest of the day thinking about it. <clears throat> I feel like I have been having a midlife crisis for five years because I watch your videos. 
I am not living the life I want to live given what I know. This life is a gift and I am wasting it doing the same thing for five years and expecting a different feeling illustrates how scared I am to change. I started school as a kindergartner, and then I went through elementary school, and then middle school, and then high school, and then right after that, I started college. And when college ended, I immediately got a job. And now I sit here in that same job doing the same thing. How many memories will I even have from all of this institutionalization? By mid-April, my 2021-2022 job contract will be handed for me to sign up for another year. Why are you able to do this? And I am not. Teach me. Help me teach me. Well, brother, uh, I am getting ready to say something which, who knows, it very well may end uh, one of the few friendships I have not managed to end in, in, uh, in uh, the Doomosphere already. So you ask, uh, I am going to answer, I'm going to give you a brutal uh, answer to your question. Uh, okay, it was two years ago, if you are the man I am thinking that you are, it was two years ago that we spent several days ago, uh, se several days together, um, you and I and your lovely wife, uh, who, uh, if, if your lovely wife is, is not your number one prized possession in your life, uh, you need to recognize that she is, and you have a gift with that woman that, uh, good Lord, uh, that uh, so many men will never know. Uh, but anyway, uh, so count your blessings with that woman of, uh, of yours. Uh, so. I'm quite sure that she was involved with what you guys decided to do with your life uh, two years ago. You made a consumer and lifestyle choice, brother, two years ago that when you made it, after we had, uh, you've been watching my videos for five fucking years, brother, five fucking years. I think the third video I ever made in my life was called Simplify, Simplify, Simplify. I have been preaching uh, for how many years now? 12? Uh, about getting rid of this planet-eating shit in your life and simplifying and scaling down, down, down. I, I, I have been a major cheerleader of, you know, tiny houses, trailer living, whatnot. And uh, so when I was up there with the two of you, you, you know, looking, uh, looking at real estate, I, I thought the whole fucking idea, brother, and, and I honestly didn't even know why you were selling your other house. It looked to me like you had a pretty damn good gig going. I, I did not understand why you were selling your other house. Uh, but I thought, I, I had some crazy, uh, it was called projection, that, that you guys uh, were downsizing that you were selling your beautiful home, uh, which was already too big for two people. The, the, the WRW and his beautiful wife, Lulu, uh, are non-breeders, uh, which is the number one way to simplify your life. So you, you've already made the single most important, um, the single most important consumer and lifestyle choice for not being a breeder. So that is the number one thing you're doing right. But anyway, uh, where I stayed when I was visiting WRW, he had built uh, this beautiful, what I guess is called a sugar shack. 
It's uh, where, you, where you make maple syrup. And I'm looking at the, this beautiful, it was a tiny house, is essentially what it was, that WRW built this beautiful tiny house that would have been absolutely perfect for he and his he and his wife. Now, of course, uh, you know, she would have had to agree to, to move out of her lovely, whatever it was, three or four bedroom home uh, and move into it. But I was thinking to myself, if I was this dude, uh, I would be moving into the damn sugar shack and renting out the main house. Uh, you know, there, there was more than enough uh, square footage and whatnot in the, in that sugar shack. Uh, well, it was like my dream home. Your sugar shack oh, it was my dream home. And uh, you could have, uh, or, or just built another fucking show, you know what I'm, but, but, uh, but uh, I was picturing a cabin the size of your fucking sugar shack, and, and you should have rented out that goddamn uh, house next door, that beautiful home. And that would have been the end of your nine to five job. Now, I will say that his wife, she, she apparently loves her nine to five job. I honestly believe that she is happy with her career. So, you know, and, and, and I'm assuming that, that she is bringing in pretty good money and, and she loves the, and, and she loves her job. So you already have a, a good income stream. Uh, you, you could have moved into that fucking sugar shack and, and, and rented out uh, that house house. You never would have had to go to work. You, you would have a, 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 a hell of a lot more income, not even counting your wife's income. That rental income, you would have gotten off of that house uh, would, would have been twice the income I've been living off of uh, for, you know, for the past 12 years. So that would have been my, but, but you really weren't asking my, my advice. So I, so I was keeping my mouth shut. So we go, we spent several days, uh, you, you know, looking at, at all of these uh, houses. Uh, as I say, I never understood why you were even selling the house you were selling. Uh, with that beautiful sugar shack, you had that nice pond uh, the beautiful organic gardens. It seemed like you had a pretty damn good life to me, brother. Uh, and, and, and I guess I was suffering the, the delusion that the, the intent here was to simplify your life and, uh, buy down and, and get a smaller, uh, get a smaller house. Am I in your... Am I okay? Alright. I didn't know if he needed me to move. Uh, to get a, a, a smaller house. And so when you sent me that email about the, uh, the, the house you... Am I in your way, brother? I can move if you need me to. Am I alright here? Yeah, you're alright. Alright. I don't want to get sideswiped by their bass boat. Uh, so, when you sent me that email of, the, uh, of that of that house you bought, I, I was think I, I, at first I thought it was a fucking joke. I I, I honestly believed I I, I I say as WRW he has got to be yanking my chain. Tell me that this that, that this childless couple. Uh, who I thought fucking got it, got it, did not just do what he said he was getting ready to do. And, 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 and don't misunderstand me, anyone listening in on our private conversation. It was an absolutely gorgeous home. Uh, don't don't get me wrong. I, I, I mean, an un, it's, I mean, I haven't seen it in real life, and I've probably lost my invitation to ever see it after this. It, 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 it is an absolutely beautiful 
home uh, on a big piece of land that they bought that that anybody uh, would you know would die to have it, it, it it's a home uh, you know for a small Honduran village uh, I, I, I I have no fucking clue I mean I, again it's, I'm not saying it's not an absolutely gorgeous home and a beautiful piece of land but 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 my God, it's enough fucking square footage for a small Honduran village. Uh, you know, so while while I am shopping, I was you know it's while I was shopping to end up buying a three hundred and eighty four square foot shack for thirty five thousand dollars. So I'm 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 shopping around for a three hundred and eighty four square foot. Uh, a little little tumble down shack uh, th that needs to be bulldozed, you know, the Hambone Hilton. Uh, my my buddy and his wife were buying this absolutely gorgeous, uh, you know, custom home. I and I'm and I'm thinking this is a fucking joke, and it uh, and. and I, I was literally, I, I remember starting an email to you, brother. Like, what in the fuck are, are you doing here? That, that, that this, is, that, that this is everything you are doing uh, here is wrong. But, of course, he, you know, it's uh, his, his lovely wife, Lulu, uh, while, while Lulu is not a, a, at all a clueless moron, she's not a doomer chick. And uh, I guess what you were doing, brother, was trying to make uh, that woman happy. And if I had that woman in my life, I probably would have been buying that house for her, too. Uh, you know... Uh, you know, you mention in here, what do you say, I, uh, y y you know, uh, about me being lonely, uh, yeah, uh, I, I would probably, uh, you know, one thing you gotta understand when you make the choices I do to turn your back on the dominant cultural paradigm, walk away from that fucking job, walk away from that big, beautiful home, uh, walk away from all of this crap. Uh, you know, get the, as far away uh, from that big, beautiful home as you can run and, and, and buy yourself a, a little cabin. Uh, you know, 500 square feet uh, per person it, it, it is more than enough for is more than enough room you and you and uh, Lulu could uh, sell that place that you just bought uh, you can probably uh, I, I know what what's going on with the real estate market in rural Vermont right now it's on fire you could probably sell the goddamn place for fifty sixty thousand dollars more than you paid for it two years ago. Uh, and, 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 and buy you a little piece of land and, and build you something about the size of that sugar shack. Uh, bank that uh, money from the sale of your house and end of your uh, nine to five job. Tell, tell those motherfuckers to stuff that contract up their ass. Uh, uh, okay? Uh, you know, my, my God, uh, you would have enough money, uh, not even counting. I mean, Lulu could quit too. Both of you could quit, but I don't think she wants to quit. So Lulu can, uh, you know, can keep her, uh, can keep her income coming in if she's enjoying her job. Uh, you guys, uh, can live... A, a very nice, comfortable life uh, in, in, in a reasonable size little house uh, on five or six acres of land. Hell, have a hip camp. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm down here living on two-thirds of an acre, and, and we're going to make $1,000 at this hip camp this month.
uh, you know, start a damn hip camp. I think Sandy is, is starting a, you know, Vermont uh, is hip camp central. Um, anyway, uh, how do you organize your life? It, 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 organize your life? Do I look like I have an organized life? And, and, and guys, it, it, you know, uh, I am not recommending this lifestyle to my wor own worst enemy. Uh, th this man just acts like he's jealous of my lifestyle. Uh, but I, I am not, as I say, I don't recommend my lifestyle to my own worst enemy. Uh, how do I organize my life? Well, I spend half of it in uh, upstate New York and half of it in Florida. Uh, and then I get up every morning and figure out what the fuck I'm going to do with my life, sitting here at the end of a rutted out dirt road with my thumb up my ass in the point lonesome swamp, uh, wishing I had a, a, a woman with one-fourth uh, the class that the woman you have in your life. Uh, that's how I organize my life, is dedicating it to, to finding uh, the woman that you found in yours. How do you make it work out financially? You, you, you organize your life to get rid of that God, uh, you know, that, that shit. Uh, these uh, 10,000 square foot mansions, uh, uh, you know, get rid of that shit. Uh, I don't have, you, you've got to pay off all of your, fuck, anything with an interest bearing account, mortgage, credit cards, I do not pay one penny of interest. You have enough money right now, brother, and don't tell me you don't. Uh, you, you could sell that damn, I don't even know if you guys uh, have a mortgage on it or not. Uh, you could sell that place, pay off the mortgage, you would have enough money left over in, 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 in your bank account to pay off your other credit card debt. Even with Lulu not working, uh, you would have a, a much more uh, comfortable nest egg than I have. Uh, my, I, 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 I'm sorry, brother, you're, 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 uh, it, I, I'm not, uh, uh, I, I just don't feel that sorry for you. What are the tricks? Simplify, 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 pay off every interest-bearing account in your life. Those are the tricks. How do I get rid of my 9 to 5 job? Well, when you get that contract shoved in front of your face in three weeks, pick up the contract, rip it up, throw it in the fucker's face and say, I am done with this shit. Uh, I, I'm totally fucking done with your 9 to 5 bullshit. You can go fuck yourself. Uh, I, I, I'm going to go sell this house uh, that should be, you know, that a small Honduran village uh, should be living inside. I'm going to sell this fucking house and I am going to simplify, 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 and live in a sugar shack, and, and, and you can go fuck your 9-to-5 job. Of course, when you do that, uh, Lulu will send you her divorce papers. It's cold and snowy outside. Well, no shit, Sherlock. You live in fucking Vermont. It's cold and snowy outside. Get your ass to Florida half the year. There you go. End of end of the snow. Uh, get your ass to Florida uh, every year on November first and go back on May first, just like I do. Uh, you will also not only will you get the ice and snow out of your life, you will get the wife out of your life. Uh, but, you know, this, this whole point about doing the same thing for five years and expecting a different feeling illustrates how scared I am to change. It's pretty damn scary, uh, dude. It's pretty fucking scary. Uh, why are you able to do this and I am not? Teach me? I don't know, brother. Maybe it had something to do with the fucking... 
uh, I highly advise the five grams of psilocybin mushrooms. I highly advise the San Pedro cactus, which is the same thing as uh, peyote. I highly advise the ayahuasca. I highly advise heroic doses of psilocybin mushroom. Uh, ayahuasca and uh, peyote or San Pedro cactus. Again, uh, after you take these mega doses and, and learn as I did that, uh, th that you are making wrong choices in your life, uh, it, it takes a shock to the system. Uh, you, you know, to, to face the biggest fear. The, the single biggest fear uh, that, that anyone faces is letting go of what they already have. It, you know, all of this bullshit about letting go of the bank and, and letting the river take you. Uh, the, you know, that's scary enough. But to, uh, you know, to do what I did, I did not have a woman in my life. Uh, I, I can imagine if I had still been married uh, to my dear sweet ex-wife, who probably has about the same worldview that, uh, that your dear sweet wife has. I, I, I can imagine if, if I had... Uh, uh, come home one day. See, my, my dear sweet ex-wife, she loved her job. If I had come home one day and said, darling, I'm going to quit uh, my six-figure real estate uh, career. We're going to sell uh, this this beautiful home on the Green Belt in South Austin. We're going to sell four out of five of our rentals and move to the Peruvian Amazon. Uh, I, I I can imagine the scene that would have uh, that would have elicited, uh, considering that a fucking ham sandwich uh, ruined my marriage. Uh, you know. Uh, we couldn't fucking make a ham sandwich together uh, without ending up in fucking divorce. Uh, so I don't know what to tell you, brother. You have got the greatest gift uh, uh, that, that you can imagine, and that is that lovely woman of yours, and you need to do whatever you can to keep that woman happy. Uh, and if she can go along with anything I just said, She's probably, uh, I, I know now that if uh, uh, next time Lulu sees me after this video, she's going to kick my ass uh, across the state of Vermont. So, uh, brother, I guess you will have to come visit me alone. Uh, I guess you're going to have to leave Lulu uh, alone for a few days since I understand she probably... Uh, it has an AR-15 with my name on it after this rant, and come see me at the Hambone Hilton. Uh, I owe you a few days of free lodging. I want you to come see me this summer in Ithaca, New York, uh, with or without your lovely wife, and uh, you and I are probably going to go out in the woods and eat some fucking mushrooms and I, I want you to take a long, hard look at the Hambone Hilton. And you need to ask yourself, uh, are you ready to do this or not? Uh, and I think the answer is going to be no, but who knows? So come see me at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I will be there uh, sometime between May 1st and May 15th. So uh, finish out your contract this year on that 9 to 5 job. Uh, tell your boss to go fuck himself. And come see me at Bugs in a Jar. We'll shake up some bugs in your brain, brother. And uh, have a long talk, you and me. And uh, you can decide for yourself whether you want to uh, trade your life for mine. Anyway, hope that helps. It's been nice knowing you since I understand uh, I probably just lost another friend in the Dumasphere. Onward through the fog, brother. 
get out there and enjoy it while you still can. Bye, guys.